What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Melanie King. Let's get straight into it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have seen some bottom of the barrel whoredom before and women <laughs> doing anything to make a dollar, especially if they have an OnlyFans. But this whore has reached a new level of low. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. I, it's it's me, Chloe Lopez. I came across one of her videos and I was absolutely disgusted. This bottom of the barrel, disgusting, maggot whore needs to be in jail. Oh my gosh, she is straight eating her up. Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> Bottom of the barrel maggot eating whore. That is next level. Shout out to her. Because, you know, if she just wants to show God. her body and do whatever and do her OnlyFans, that's one thing. But this woman is now roaming out in the public. She's in the wild. And this is what she's doing at a grocery store near you. Hey, look, man, I know the modern dating scene sucks, and so does getting hurt physically and not just emotionally. Moments that leave you feeling shattered, and sometimes that heartbreak comes when you least expect it, like getting into a car accident. You know, one minute you're driving, you're thinking about your day, and in the next second, everything changes. Suddenly you're facing injuries, hospital bills, and pain that lingers long after the crash. It can be completely overwhelming. But here's the thing, when you're seriously hurt, your injury could be worth absolutely millions. And that's where Morgan & Morgan comes in. They don't settle for lowball offers from insurance companies. They fight for you because they know what your pain is all about and how much your pain is worth. In just the last couple of months, they've achieved life-changing verdicts for their clients. 12 million in Florida, if you're in Florida, 34 times the highest insurance offer, and 26 million in Philly, 40 times the highest insurance offer. Now that is real justice. And that's not just the best part. With Morgan & Morgan, you don't pay a penny unless you win. Not a penny until you win. The fee is absolutely free unless they get you the compensation you deserve. If you've been hurt, don't face the heartbreak alone. Morgan & Morgan got your back like a chiropractor. So I'm back in the supermarket again. And I'm going to leave a little donation. In with the hot dogs. <laughs> Them stanky draws. <laughs> Don't put the fish next to the hot dogs. What are you doing? This is low for some reason. I don't know why, but not that you care what she has to say. This brain dead uh, succubus, suck succubus, succubus. I can't even, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> But if you don't know what a succubus is, you should go watch the South Park episode where I think um, Chef falls in love with a succubus. It's probably one of the funniest episodes I've ever done. So, yeah, go check that out. If you don't know what a succubus is, they do a really good job of explaining it. She goes around and removes her crusty, dusty draws and puts <laughs> probably them got a little bit of PJ on the draws there, too. Um, and different PJ is P juice. If you know, you know hidden spots in grocery stores and other areas where families are. But I think this right here, putting your crusty draws in the middle, in food, in food. And this isn't the only time she's done it. She's putting it with the hot dogs because it's so hot. I'm, my underwear with the hot dogs. Come on, boys. Subscribe to me, OnlyFans. I'm desperate. This is, and this is the problem with these women is they know that there are men out there that are desperate enough that are going to see that and go, oh, let me let me subscribe to her OnlyFans for $4.99 to see her butthole. It's sad. It truly is. And for $4.99 a month, you can pretty much see everything a girl has to offer. I remember back in my day when the only time you could see a girl naked is if you took her clothes off. Nowadays, you can see a girl naked for freaking $4.99, and you don't have to do nothing but hit subscribe and put in your debit card information. What happened to the good old days, boy? Back in the day when you had to earn it. Now you ain't have to earn it. You just go out there and pay for it. It's truly sad the times we have stooped to. It stinks. Here she is again. A little donation. I don't know why the audio is so low. The milk. <laughs> Got milk. <laughs> Put it with the milk. <laughs> Got milk. <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs> I'm so hot. <laughs> <laughs> She's cracking me up. The milk. Now she not only does this at grocery stores, but take a look at this. It's time to rip these drawers off and leave them on a table for the waiter to come and get after you leave, after you eat and I drink. I bet you she does that and she just goes and picks them right back up. This is what she does. Leave her drawers there for who? For the waiter to come get? For 
someone to clean up after this because this is the this is the lunacy that's out here i'm so hot no one will care if i do this type of thing i can just i can go around and do this nasty stuff in public and everyone just has to accept it because i look imagine if you were a man doing that going out there taking those little calvin kleins off with the skid marks on the back of them <laughs> that little brown slider down there and putting those on a table for somebody to see. Boy, you would be canceled so quick. They would find you and persecute you. It would be bad. But as these OF girls can do it, and it's no big deal. So good. <laughs> Subscribe. $1.99 for my OnlyFans. <laughs> so I'm here testing out beds today. But I'm going to leave a little donation. With, with old people in the back. Like, this is so disgraceful. Look at Grandma and Grandpa just trying to shop for a mattress and then they have to deal with this foolishness. She is going to leave these crusty infected draws Infecting on a now. mattress. And let, let me just let it play. No, I'm so hot. No. And this is why mental illness has been normalized and especially been well, it's normal. Just, it's just the, the over-sexualization of women and the fact that these women don't feel any shame. We need to bring back shaming. Can you imagine she did this a hundred years ago? She would have been shamed. This is the power and also the degeneracy of social media. Like it can be used as a good tool, but it can also be used as a bad tool. A lot of these women, I think they should just be banned from social media. If you're trying to sell sex, you need to stick solely on those websites. And if that's something you want to do, great. But also, we need to end the epidemic. Men need to stop paying for this stuff. Because because let's be, let's keep it a buck. The only people paying for this stuff is men. Let me know in the comments. Do you agree, chat? Do you agree that the only people paying for this stuff is men? Do you think there's women out there in droves swiping their car digitally to see this girl's butthole for $4.99? <laughs> like, come on, dude. No. Stupid. It's all men. But this is the problem that a lot of men are alone and they're single. And this is what they have to pick from? Like, no wonder they're alone. But at the same time, when they are alone, then they spend their money on this stuff instead of spending it on actually going out there and find a woman. Like, I would much rather a man go out there and spend money on dates than spend money on OnlyFans. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Do you think it's worse to spend money on dates or worse to spend money on OF? I think spending on OF is just you're supporting a corn addiction. Whereas if you go out on dates, maybe you are, you, you're still kind of simping, in, I guess, in a way. But at least you're trying to at least get a girlfriend or procure a relationship as opposed to OF. You're never going to get a relationship with this girl ever with these women that do only fans like the only look at her boobs out everything out like this is this is it but you know melanie you're hating you're not as hot you don't have a body you can't leave your draws anywhere you're just hating on a woman trying to get her coin uh-huh sure and that's why i chose this video because hearing it from a woman is way more powerful than hearing it from another guy there she is again here it is, taking a sample and right in front of the employees and everyone else. Here it goes. Here we go. Here we go. Thanks, guys. And hands the man her underwear. If a man handed his underwear to a woman. Right, people would be in outrage. Here she is. Once again in public, with people around, families, wherever, off with her like, yeah, Do you guys think that she should be in, I think she should get in some type of trouble. If you're taking your underwear off in a public place where, like, kids are, I mean, it's, number one, it should probably be, what's the word I'm looking for? L uh, littering? Number one, because that's trash to somebody else. But there needs to be something else done. Pause. This is a grown woman. If this was a man who did this exact same thing, he would be arrested. They will, they, he will be locked up for essay, for every type of charge you can think, a man will be locked up. A man could never get away with this. Oh, yeah, and in no. fact, a less attractive woman could not do this. Oh yeah, or, if she was a- Big back, big back. There's no way that that's happening. She would be crucified for doing this type of thing. But yet, this is these are the people that are roaming free and that we're supposed to just accept you know 
this is what she does and there's no consequence but unfortunately for her there has been backlash to this nonsense uh -oh. and before i show you that even the gas station is not safe for this woman and her nasty Those draw these are probably flammable like do you know what the types of things Imagine she farted in those things <laughs> She farted in. There was enough methane gas on the on the undies. She put it in the gas, and it just lit up. <laughs> I know that's literally impossible, but that are probably crawling in there. What type of STDs? I mean, she's a whore. So like, <laughs> we have to suspect like every disease known to man is crawling through those walls, and now they have these crispy critters have exited, and they are now just infesting. Not, I mean, they're infesting. The gas station, public places, parks, malls, benches, and even food is not safe. Like she is contaminating. She is actually the next pandemic lies between her legs and she's spreading it like the Wuhan virus so that we all, we have a national crisis again, actually a worldwide crisis because all of us will be digesting whatever is crawling from between them cheeks. And what is this? Is there some simp of a man that she's with that thinks this is awesome? There probably is. Wow. Wow. Your woman puts her draws everywhere. He's probably the one filming. Oh, yeah. yeah like, let me mute this because I, I don't want to get a copyright, of course, for this type. Oh, here he is, too. Look, look, look. Oh, this is hubby. This is her husband. Degeneracy, dude. Degeneracy. Well, it's just when people don't have any okay, other so skill set other than their bodies and sex, and then that's what they sell. Like, if you actually had another skill set, it, it, here's the thing. <clears throat> I think, um, what's his name? Saint in the Center said this. If you took my brain and put it in a woman's body, I could probably be a millionaire in a year. Because knowing what I know as a man, being a woman, like, marketing yourself as a woman is much easier. But the thing is, if you took these women's brains, these OF girls, and put it in a man's body, they there's no way they can make money. They would be a fast food worker because you can't be a bottle guy, right? You can't be a, a male stripper. Like, dude, do you know how good a shape you have to be in to be a male stripper? Like, you have to be in incredible shape. You want to do the Chippendales, the thing, the, the thunder down under. Don't ask me why I know that, okay? I do a lot of research on things. <laughs> I just look into stuff. You know, I know it from Cass. Anyways, but imagine if they put their brain into a guy's body. Like, you have to be in impeccable shape. Peak male performance to be on part of those shows. And then even those shows, you're more of a performer. You're like learning choreographed dance. It's to music. You have to bring people up on, like it's it's like a whole show. When you're a stripper, it's like, Crystal! Welcome Crystal to the stage, everyone, all right? She's gonna dance through a, a Yo Gotti song or a Young Thug song, and it's like, all right, now next up is Diamond. And then they dance for a couple, you know, future songs and Drake songs and the next up and the next up. It's like that stuff is so easy. It is not hard. It's not difficult to go up there and wiggle your butt meat for men to pay you dollars. It's really not hard. It's not tough to do. You don't need to, you don't need a brain to be able to do that. And she, he's the one that probably films are putting her draws there, probably tells her where to put the draws. And this is what she does. And it, this, this, look at this man. Look, look at this. I mean, no decency, no, no shame, no, no anything. Just get, she needs to hit the track, lay down, bust those legs open, throw them draws off and do whatever she does on her OnlyFans. God knows if she's doing that in public and this is filmed and fun and lighthearted and family friendly, imagine what she's doing behind the scenes. And absolutely disgusting. Oh, he is blowing her back out, realigning her spine, every bit of it. So unfortunately for this degenerate, there has been a backlash. This British model is warned to leave Spain for her. Right, I, I actually have that article pulled up, so let's pull it up really quick, uh, and we'll talk through it real fast. Like, British model is warned to leave Spain for her own safety after outraging locals by taking off her knickers and leaving them to be found in a in Costa hotspots, including a supermarket bread counter. British model has been bit, been branded mental. I, I like that, and warned she should leave Spain for her own safety after filming herself taking off her underwear and leaving them as souvenirs in coastal holidays hotspots including a supermarket bread counter chloe lopez is fast making a name for herself in britain's favorite holiday destination with her selfie online video showing her take off her thong and panties and placing them in unexpected places her latest stunt in which she whipped off a pair of her pink panties and left them in a bread roll tray in Mer mercadona or i think that's how you say it supermarket in front of her astonished customer before waltzing off with a smile on her face she enra has enraged locals spaniard were trolling the pretty brunette online today as they called the police to take action one said in a chilling if we catch you in Spain in the supermarket doing this, we'll drag you down the aisles by your hair. Wow. 
wiped off a pair of pink panties and left them in a bread roll. This is unreal to me. Look at that. This is buy food. Like she should get charged for that and then like like you should get charged for something like theft or something. <laughs> The level of trashy bread. Porno bakery. Like it's something to be proud of. So I'm back in the shopping centre. I'm going to leave a little donation. Jamie, show me the relationship with her father. (laughs) Show me that. I promise you she got daddy issues. Like, what? This stuff is a mental illness. O- OF has really made women mental. It's made them go straight bonkers. This is this is why half the reason I started the channel is just to bring back shaming. Like, shame can be a good thing. Like, when we're younger boys growing up and you do something stupid, other boys govern other boys by shaming. There's a book, and I don't know what, or there was a study or a book or something. Saint in the Center talks about this, so shout out to him. This isn't from me, but Saint in the Center talks about it. When boys are left to unstructured play, they usually build a hierarchy of roles and a hierarchy of who's supposed to make, you know, who's the leader, who's right under the leader, you know, things like that. And so when they're at play, they're playing, something happened, conflict arises, the leader solves the conflict, excuse me, and then they keep moving on with the play, right? There's a hierarchy, there's a leader, there's a captain, something like that. They split up into teams. Conflict comes up. One of the guys is like, hey, you know what? Let's just do this. Let's come to a common resolution and let's keep the game playing. When girls are left to unstructured play and there's a conflict, they silo and they isolate each other and then they stop playing the game. This is why, this is why we as people have to govern our own. Women, if you want other women to be better and you want men to be better, you need to govern your own. You need to govern the women that you're around. Because women never call each other out. Men do. Like, think about think about the three or four friends you have right now. Maybe it's just two friends. Maybe it's just one friend. Like, the people I'm the closest to call me out the most. The, pieces, the people I'm not that close to don't call me out very much. Do you agree with that? Let me know. Let me know if it's the same experience in your life. Let me know in the comments, chat. But, for instance, like, when I'm out with my buddies, I do something stupid, I get called out immediately. If I do it with a stranger, they'll probably overlook it. But with women, the closer they are, the more deluded they are the more they just feed each other these stupid delusions of no girl you deserve you deserve better like women that are in their 30s and alone and single like really about to hit the wall all their friends are like girl know your worth know your worth don't settle what are you talking about don't settle you better be settling for anything at this point well i'm celibate you better sell a bit of that coochie to somebody who cares (laughs) can't be celibate you already sold it what are you talking about? This was so crazy to me. It's like, a, like the women just don't self-govern, whereas men do. This is why shame needs to be back and alive, baby. Back at it again with the shame, buddy boy. Because nobody has it right now. Men still have it, but women don't. Women can get online, spread their cheeks, get their back blown out, get their, uh, get their spine realigned for $4.99 a month, and then girls cheer them on. Go, girl. Women empowerment. Yeah. Sell your body. I just don't get it. Because if guys told girls, hey, go sell your body online, they'd be like, no, don't tell me that. You're a misogynist. But if another woman tells another woman, hey, go sell your body, she's like, oh my God, you're empowered. You're so empowered. Go sell your body. It makes no sense to me. Us as men, we we know the difference, though. Because as men, we're not born with value. We have to go out into the world and earn our value. That's why we as men, when women get older, we don't feel bad for them once they've gotten in their 30s and they can't find a man. You had your chance and you blew it. You absolutely blew it. At one point in time, you had the most selection of men from about the ages of 18 to 24 or 25. You had a massive selection of men and you pissed it away. You wanted to be for the streets. She's a runner, she's a track star. And you missed your opportunity. I can't feel bad for you for missing your opportunity, but as men, we gain value. We're like fine wine, women are like milk. Women age like milk left out in the sun in Texas in July. That's just how it is. You don't get hotter as you get older. But the thing is, they're so diluted that they think their value goes up as they get older. And it's the opposite is true. Your value actually goes down. And as guys, our value goes up, which is good for us. Which is why if you want to unbuck your life, three things. Go listen to um, As A Man Thinketh by James Allen on Spotify. Start going to the gym. Get your diet right. And then watch what you consume. That's the, that's the extra one. But hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. We sold almost like damn near 50 copies. So shout out to you guys on that. 
Um, going crazy. I'm gonna write. I'm gonna, gonna write a volume two because it seems like you guys got a lot of value out of that. But go cop the ebook. Four Pillars of Personality makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.